and welcome to this week's episode of What the Kids Be Saying. I am your host, Esther Brunat, and What the Kids Be Saying is your source of behind the curve pop culture knowledge straight from a high school teacher's fake in her house classroom. <laughs> um, I keep up with pop culture so that you can better connect to the Gen Z in your life. In this week's episode, we will be going over six phrases. Yes, six phrases. Okay, I'm putting you on game today. And I realized I probably should explain what that means. It means I'm making you hip, basically. I'm putting you on game, I'm putting you on. That means I'm letting you be hip. So these are the current phrases that the kids are using these days. And if you decide to use them, they're gonna be like, yo, I didn't know she was hip. I didn't know she was cool or he. So number one, could never. Okay, so you use the, the phrase could never when somebody does something that they bodied, like only they could do. So Beyonce throws on Homecoming, releases a Lion King album. The proper response is Taylor Swift could never. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're a Taylor Swift fan. I am also a Taylor Swift fan, actually. Um, but you just throw somebody who's um, in the game with that person, but not at that level with that person, basically. And I put up one of my bomb math PowerPoints. Your math teacher could never, because I'm the queen. Number two, been real quiet. I'm gonna use another Beyonce example because hello. I saw this TikTok the other day. Somebody in the comments in this TikTok says, Beyonce being real quiet since you posted this. <laughs> and that's just like when you do something to like outshine somebody else, obviously nobody's outshining Beyonce, but that kid bodied that dance. Whoever they upstage being real quiet. Um, number three, CEO. So CEO of whatever, right? You could be CEO of painting your nails. You could be CEO of sitting outside. You could be CEO of quarantine. You could be CEO of whatever you're really good at. I'm CEO of being petty. <laughs> I'm CEO of Algebra 2 PowerPoints. Like, those are all the things that I'm the CEO of. Hit different. So hit different means something special about this stuff. The other day I posted that quarantine breakfast hit different because I have time to like make these big old breakfasts. Somebody, I've been seeing a lot of Fridays don't even hit anymore because we're all at home. Every day is Friday. Um, coconut Oreo Thins hit different. Don't at me about that. I think that was number four. This is number five. We love to see it. A win. Somebody does something that you love, this is obvious. You say, we love to see it. So if a parent is yelling at a kid for doing their work, for not doing their work, like so. You had two tests. I did this. You got a 53 and a 60. You can cheat. It's online. I did cheat. And you still got a 53 <laughs> yes. and a 60. The proper response is, we love to see it. Also, the last one is, we hate to see it. We hate to see it is a, I told you so. Right? So if that same student, you was like, you should be getting A's, like 100s, you say. When you see them getting yelled at, you say, hate to see it. But secretly, you still love to see it. So they mean the same thing, but the second one, we hate to see it, is more like, and I told you so, like I warned you, and look at you now. <laughs> anyway, that is the season finale of season two of what the kids be saying, we hate to see it. But we had to have the season finale um, 10 episodes each season, so I'm gonna take a break. I really appreciate y'all rocking with me. Um, it's always a pleasure, as usual. If you have requests, please let me know in the comments. Um, and while we take this break, if there's ways that you would like to support, I got a YouTube channel, we got merch, um, where you could do the math tees that I'm usually wearing in the videos, um, all that kind of stuff. Feel free to support Teachers Pay Teachers if you're a teacher. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see you next time. And as usual, say it with me. Stay hip, friends.